What do we got here? I mean, it looks like you have Rube Goldberg working in the back <laughs> room. What, what is this? We have all the components to study ocean acidification for the very first time together on this morning. We've right. moved well beyond just figuring out what's the temperature change. There are chemistry changes, there are ecosystem changes, there are biological changes. All of these things are happening all at once. We always thought of CO2 as a waste product of all of the production of fossil fuels from coal and oil and automobiles. We just dumped it into the atmosphere and we said, no problem, the oceans will suck it up. And sure enough, the oceans do suck it up. We first approached all this with the idea that, wow, the oceans are performing this tremendous service for humankind. It's absorbing 22 million tons of CO2 a day. So we, we first approached this saying, great, you know, let's go figure out how this is working. Maybe we can enhance it. It wasn't until we got out there and actually quantified that the oceans have absorbed 118 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. A metric ton is about how much a small car weighs. That we put the equivalent of 118 billion VW bugs worth of CO2 into the ocean over the last 200 years. And 43% of that has happened just in the last 20 years. And it's growing exponentially. You know, as we start to project out into the future, it really gets scary. And people say, oh, well, the oceans are huge. You know, we, we could never really change, affect the oceans. Well, we are. They are changing. <laughs> they and, are changing, and, and we're measuring it. We're actually documenting it.